Hello everyone, welcome to Nerding Vibe. I'm your host Jinj. And um fuck you, Snazzy. <laughs> uh I can't get enough of of um DS2. I, I just I, I didn't really know what else I would be streaming. So I mean it was either this or the Pokemon Nuzlocke again. I know I don't really have the audience to play the Pokemon Nuzlocke like three days in a row. So um yeah. DS2. We're gonna see if we can actually get past base game without dying. Um, all bosses, all DLC and stuff like that is just um, yeah, that that's toughy. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna try and see uh, if I can um, beat base game at least. Also, we are live now on YouTube as well as on Twitch. So, um, yeah. Be sure to follow us on YouTube as well. Alright, so... Um, we're not going to waste any more time. Rock Souls 2. Yay. <clears throat> yes, it's gonna be without music mainly because um you know that that's gonna be not appreciated by our friends over on YouTube. Oh, no more carrots can be created. Great. great. Uh, Hawkeye can be deleted. Perhaps you've seen it. Yes, I've seen it all. Well, Nico doesn't stream, but doesn't Owen. Uh, Owen does stream normally, but he put in stream chat that he wasn't uh, streaming tonight because he was dead. I mean, it, it's weird that that man can type, but he, he said he was dead. Getting that item is always like iffy to me. Like, I know it's doable if you lure him out and everything, and I know all the hitless runners and everything get it easily enough. For some reason, I, I'm always so fucking terrified of that, that hippo monster thingy. Snazzy, what should I name him? Or what should I know myself? Paleontology. <laughs> okay. There we go. Our <laughs> our deathless attempt character is called paleontology. Are you sure of your name? No, not really, but Nazi says yes. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I 
they have resets here? I thought it's for random, okay. Does it matter if you change the homeland? I have to get used to the controls again. I'm stuck with Elden Ring controls in my head right now. It's melting, I guess. Hitler so far. I'm fucking amazing. I can actually do more than then fucking broken sword. It does not. didn't we? Alright, nice. Not bad. A little bit extra souls in the beginning. Never hurt anyone. Seed. We drop down here. Yeah. Pick up the morning store or the maze or whatever it was. Morning store.
speed as well. Oh, lady. Get up and level me up. I'll pick up everything around this place first. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well, that's. Uh, that was really not what I intended. I, I, I didn't think I could talk to you, like, from outside the room. Use the fucking soul you got, you fucking idiot. And yes, I'm just talking to myself. I'm gonna change one thing about the title here because I think we can just put any percent instead of just base game. There we go. Just going for the any percent first. And then basically work our way past the next bosses and see how far we actually get into it. Like the DLC definitely has some block. I mean, and base game... Mm, the only non-mandatory fights that we have in base game that, that I worry about is basically the, um, uh, the Dark Lurker. 
I mean, Vendrick is fine. Um, Ancient Dragon Killer showed me how to do that. So, you know, we should be fine. Hey, Zach, welcome on YouTube. How are you, man? Thank you very much for the good luck. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're just trying. Like, the, the, the chance that this is, is going to happen during this run is, like, infinitesimal. <laughs> If I get sub 10 on any percent, I would be very happy. Ooh. Not sure if I had done it correctly. Yeah, done it correctly. Okay, awesome. Well, that's the first ball down. Wait, did I not rest at the bomb? Ah, oh, I didn't rest the Majula. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I just love cheating that bot, honestly. And it's such an easy way to quickly get, like, a um, couple of souls in. Well, a couple of levels. We got 12k for that kill, so, yeah. Just wish I had rested at the Majula um, bonfire. for adaptability that would be putting everything in adaptability just not even to get the 100 in agility we're not doing that put that up to 20 and health next tool for this with extra HP because you're always really did you do the any percent or did you do all boss attack Is a high school doable for Deathless? Did you or just get through it? You did two runs at the same time. Went a bit ahead so you could check stuff out. It's a good idea. 
that's a good idea. Yeah. But like, I, I kind of thought that like stuff like hexes were were not like the best thing here. Like, I mean, they they they're great early game with like the sunset staff. Um, but I thought it kind of dropped off quite hard during the end game. I want to shrine of a mana node. Shrine of a mana, it's pretty poor in. I want from shrine of a mana to end know that. Yeah, shrine of a mana can go fuck itself. <laughs> Not really that much. Where do you early game form for souls? It's like... I mean, I know one way, but it's tricky and I wouldn't do it in a deadless run. Um, like, my soul forming is usually, like, end game. It's uh, killing the, the, the giant lord over and over again. Mage the Petty? Okay, a reset. Wait, wait, what, what? Mage the Petty? Hippo. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Wait, he gives 1k? Seriously? That guy. I know he doesn't enter like the tunnel that we just came out of. I know that, but yeah, it's a bit of a. Ah no, I was thinking like it's a bit of a walk away, but uh, you, you take the bonfire like right past him, and just rest there, and then just run past him in order to pull him inside of the cave. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You can basically yeah. Take him down with magic and, and with a uh, bow and arrow, if need be. So in effect, that means you can kill, yeah, yeah, the uh, champion of covenants. Yeah. So my tactic, the one that I um, well that, that that I looked up and that I could uh, that I use uh, on occasion is with. Um, the um the first of those giant knights in um heights tower same thing you you join the the uh, the covenant and you um basically go there and there there's apparently there there's a little spot um like right next to the stairs basically that that go back up to um Jula, where he just drops off like it's right next to the steps and then for some reason the AI bugs out there and he uh, always falls off and that's 400 each kill. Other than that, like, um, you know, late game, it's always the, uh, the giant lord for me. Like, also with bow and arrow and just, uh, cheese the fuck out of him. Like, with dark arrows, you can kill him up to, uh, plus eight or plus nine, if I'm not mistaken. Just 
Yo, you just need to. Come on, you freak. Mm, there's a fire giant tree. Oh my god. Oh, so oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like late game, you can get a lot. But I did like um, I did do something really stupid like on on uh, previous cry or or like I don't was it was it deathless that I was trying? yeah I think so I think it was deathless um, all boss plus DLC but now I just spent any percent uh, so there's you know if if you kindle the um, A kindle uh, if you like uh, use a flame butterfly for uh, for for um, the, the giant lore thing all the memories go up a level and I didn't know that so I did the fire uh, the, the giant lord up to plus um, eight and then I went in to get all the other Lord Souls or or Giant Souls, and um, yeah, that that ended very quickly because I did not know that they would all level up, and then they just one shot me straight away. And hello, Doc, over on Twitch. Um, this is uh, any percent, yes. I just figured we we're gonna try any percent first, Doc. I think I've shown all bosses plus DLC I, I can do. <laughs> At least not straight away. So um, I figured, you know, well, let's do any percent first and then work our way up. It's like if we get any percent, um, then I can just, you know, do everything else uh, post game basically. And just try those. Uh, forming Rollin for Shrine Axis. Uh, nope. I mean, I could, I could do like the Rollin Strat. Just get those um one k of well one million souls, I guess, in order to go through Shrine of Winter. But yeah, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable enough with, with any of the fights to do that, honestly. And I know there there's the hitless threat that I can use, but yeah. All the builds you see, nothing seems better than rapier with lightning infusion and lightning resin. Yeah, but that's mostly for um for, for the hitless bros. Like, I kind of feel that there's not a perfect build for for Atlas. Uh, it's doable compared to the others, especially if you cheese and summon, etc. Yeah, exactly. Like, I did uh, Demon Souls, I did Dark Souls 1. Um, and then those were very doable. But um, yeah, Dark Souls 2 has kind of eluded me. Same with Elden Ring. I think Elden Ring PB is, uh, for all bosses, it's currently at 7. I just haven't gone back yet. Uh, just get the rapier or mage from a jewel of blacksmith and you win. Yeah, 
Yeah, currently we just got this one. I still mace kind of weapon. I mean, I think it's technically a mace weapon. A hammer. I think so is the mace, so yeah. Keep used it through new game, new game plus, new game plus two. Made the whole thing a joke. All boss in DLC, new game plus two. Interesting. I'll check on the rapier once we get active. like i i kind of just grew up with um with dark souls one you know with dark souls one and demon souls like the my my souls actually start like with the original um demon souls so i'm, I'm kind of used to the games like all even with all their jank and everything but i think that kind of helped me maybe get it a little bit easier but we always did like old bosses in all the um all of them. I can, and there's so much you can cheat as well in, in Demon Souls and in Dark Souls. Does mad damage for some reason with the lighting infusion and resin, and of course, use an upgraded bow with clear mobs. Yeah. I will rely on a bow for a lot of it. Check out the rapier once we have access. Isn't rapier um a, a dex weapon? Right now we put our strength up to twenty. Yeah, strain is up to 20. Rapier is dex weapon, yeah, exactly. And welcome in, Doko. Yes, Doko, I will be verbally abusing you throughout, throughout the stream. You dick. Sure, Demon Souls is frustrating because of the long runs. Oh, yeah, yeah, like in Demon Souls, you just have to clear the entire level. There, There's no, yeah, there's no in between. I mean, you do have your, like, the shortcuts you can unlock at certain points, but it, it's so... it's such a long-ass uh, run. Uh, and I'd say... Learning Hodden is better than learning No Man's War, Bastille, and Iron Keep. See, No Man's War and Bastille, I, I don't really dread. I mean, Iron Keep is, is Iron Keep, Iron Keep is a piece of fucking shit. But, um, yeah. And Doko is lurking. Okay, Doko, thank you very much for the lurk. You fucking asshole. Stop shooting your bloody arrows, you prick. Hey, welcome in, Zanx Music over on YouTube. How are you doing today? Imagine getting hit before leaving the forest. I'm doing this deathless, though. Go, not hitless. I don't do hitless. Hitless is for, for the tryhards. I'm not a tryhard. So, fuck you, Doko. You think you're so much better than everyone. Do 
too much of a pussy. No, absolutely not. I, I just know what my limit is in gaming. And my limit is definitely at um Yeah, at that the at the uh, hitless. Too much of a pussy. Imagine dying in the SP. Ah. I hate my Twitch audience. <laughs> nice to get that list consistently, finally. That's a good thing. No, I just don't see myself doing that right now. I, at least not consistently. This sucks. Yep, yep. What's the PB at the, this moment, Oko? Just call me hitless. You want to do apparently? Yeah, but why would you? One, why would DS2 be the one you want to do? Like, out of all of them, why the hell DS2? PB of 7. Awesome. You guys say rape here. We'll, we'll try a rapier strat. I'll be around. And Zach over on YouTube says, don't know why, but you do like DS2. Honestly, I really dislike DS2. I really hate this game. <laughs> As it's evident from, from the fact that I uh, play it quite a bit. And uh, go on Twitch. The idea was to rip the bandaid off with the S2 and move forward. We'll give the S1 a shot after. You're not sure how much patience you have for it. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't presume to know, like, which one of those is going to be the hardest one to pull off. As I say, like, I mean, Deathless is, is okay for me, Hitless is, is not fun at all. I just need more DPS. Interesting. We actually need for this. Only five strains. have to respect though like or or yeah, i mean 20 definitely not a lot here uh no we should pick up fire bombs later on i think Oh god damn it. Remember range is a thing. Uh, Demon Souls DS2, ER, Seki, Bloodborne, DS1, DS3, easy so far. It's just a general consensus. DS2 will be your hardest because of your pure undaltered hatred for this garbage hellfire mocking of a video game. Damn straight, Togo, damn straight. Like for the, 
for my Daedalus, I think it's definitely going to be DS3 that's going to be the hardest. At least at any percent and everything. Mainly because it's a game I spent the least time with. I think that's definitely a factor in, in trying these challenge runs. You need to leave. It's getting cold to university. Alright, I'll go. Have, have fun doing what you have to do. In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing this bullshit. No! No! Motherfucker! I was running and tried to jump. That, that was just fucking bullshit. <clears throat> in pub, but Doko, you son of a bitch, was brought back from yesterday, and in the last five minutes, you said that you were available to be packed. <laughs> you can look like an officer in chat. Glenn, Glenn, yes, we can. You weren't here. You left us for no apparent reason. Like, we're only a little bit in. Should we just reset? We just reset and then um, start over. Or should we put the data? No, if you need strats, you'll be in Discord consistently for a few days. Okay, we'll do it, Oko. We'll do it. How, how much time have we been in yet? Um. Well, fuck it. I don't want to do setup again. We'll just continue and then, yeah, we know then that what that that was about. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh. Oi. There we go. Come on. Okay, DS2 jump. Yeah, exactly. That was a bullshit, that. But we, we're at least pretty sure, and, and I do say pretty because I want to be careful about these kind of uh, things. But we were pretty sure that we won't die that way um, in, in our next run. So, you know. Did I not have stamina to do the jump and everything? That issue? And we don't pick up the souls. There we go. Because we wouldn't have them in the actual run. If 
give me your key. Mainly because there is another S short down there. Oh, come on. There we go, that's what we needed. Kind of. I was too late. Yeah, I was too late. Damn it. I can never get the cheese right. Yeah, like it, it's definitely a doable cheese. I, I, I kind of always remember how to do it, but it just never works out. Because I'm pretty sure I did it the right way, but yeah. I'm gonna have to look up the correct spread in order to do that and then just keep trying, I guess. Uh, the question is, is it doable to... Mm. I'm pretty 
sure this is doable. Easy enough. Awesome, it actually hit the things behind there for once. That doesn't happen very often. Nice. Reaper is actually okay. Yeah, good job. Hmm. Next, because I know you're not alone in that room. What the fuck? Who's typing two folks, you idiot? get the lightning infusion don't we need to get past um well i mean we don't necessarily need to get past the uh mm. i think we need to get past um the space for sewer i mean we can get there the normal way just takes a bit longer for no man's war Definitely like it more being at full health and then at half health. Mm, those are amber hurt. 
or we don't need them. Okay, that, that was waste effort, but okay. How many souls do we have on us now? Mm, that's not gonna be enough. Alright, time for the second bottle to run. Isn't you fucking Belgian? Well, fuck you, Glenn. You, you drunken northerner. Wait, what? That's new. When does he do a belly flip? Or a belly drop or whatever you want to call it. Coin magic? You got Bobo's modern coin magic and you're in chapter 1 trick 1. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure chapter one is called how to lose all your friends in one magic trick or less. Besides, <laughs> I thought we were learning Dutch. What happened to that? I have a low opinion on coin magic, perhaps you can change my mind. Um, I, I strongly doubt that, Glenn, but you, you're welcome to try. Is empty hand in front of Belgium? We're used to have seeing empty hands here, that, that's nothing new. magical yeah if, if if you blow my ear glenn it, it it's magic that you don't get punched it's going from behind my ear yeah i know that that's why that's where i left my coins like, i don't have a lot of coins they don't take up that much space so i just put them behind my ears will you leave my uh, life savings alone please Jesus Christ, Glenn. Stealing from me, are ya? Sheesh. I knew it was a Nazi coin from 1939. Like, do you know how much those are worth? That's why they're my savings. Because, you know, once um, once the far right gets back into power, I'm gonna sell that coin for a shit ton of money. You just cost me a new house, for fuck's sake. Put the coin fucking back behind my ear. According to Eric, so it becomes a euro. Do you know how little those are words? <laughs> Shit, you didn't mean to do that. Well, I mean, look, Glenn, if I, if I see one of those coins pop up on eBay one of these days, you know I'm coming after you, right? Hey, welcome in Spinge Binge 2019. You're on your all. Your all better be following banana. Uh, cheese. Sorry, banana cheese. You've, you've had a lot of names. I'm pretty sure it's cheese. <laughs> cheese Lord. 
<laughs> you skip forward here in the book, you might be able to turn it back. Oh wait, it's it's sheep! Holy crap, sheep, welcome in! Glenn, you better change it back, you twat. How, how was Neo, sheep? I, I, um... I wasn't on YouTube much today, but um, I, I saw you were um, doing it. Well, continuing on. You did beat the bad lady. Well, yeah, you did. You beat it at the end of your previous uh, stream. I was there for that one. You know, although you felt like it was undeserved, it really wasn't. You finally used everything that the game allowed you to use. As me and Doc have been pleading to do for a long, long time. Glenn, don't pop up on YouTube. You're supposed to be find a way to get me back my Nazi coin. Are we gonna get demonetized just for saying Nazi coin? <clears throat> I don't know who the hell that James Ryan is. Oh god, Glenn. <laughs> uh, it's pushing your shit in. You're level 50 because you die and then kill every single enemy again and it stacks up. Red Dead Shibana. Um, remind me again, Sheep. Because it's been a while since I played it, so the names are a bit fuzzy, but you know, the levels kind of stick in my head. is a samurai dude that looks like an Ishiro and you fight him in the flower fields. Oh, right, the the, the the side mission that's just basically like one boss fight. Running it as nice spectral spirit like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has a little puppy, doesn't he? Or, or the wolf or the dog, something, lightning, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's a bird. Bird he has, right? Yeah, and, and the, the mission is a side mission, just one fight long. Yeah, I remember him. He's a fucking prick. Like, that fight took me fucking forever. I, I actually had to go back to that one as well. Like, that, that one was, um, yeah. There's no business being that early in the game. That worked. Yeah, very, very clean. Like I think Killa explained this uh this this threat to me like once a long time ago. And I tried it once and it worked. But I haven't had it work since. And now it was just like and then bam, done. That was a very clean pursuer kill. Oh yeah, motherfucker stuff, you gotta level more because you don't want to waste all your heals. You're like 50 now, you're at 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is some fireball magic stuff that you want to, but you don't want to spread your stats too thin. Um, that doesn't matter, sheep. And thank you for the nice act. Appreciate it. That was, that was very nice and very, very nice, very clean. Good kill there. Um, so, 
uh, sheep for the fireballs, you, you don't spread your stats there. Um, because it's Omni Magic, and Omni Magic has its own stat points. So for the ninja, for the ninjutsu, and for the Omni Magic, you have its own uh, stats. So you don't spend your normal stat points on it. Or your own skill points. Um... What you do want then, you have a stat, like a stat when you level up that you can, um, you know, increase. And now I, I might be wrong about this, but I think it's spirit. And spirit raises your omni magic power. So if you want the fireballs to hurt more, you will have to level up your spirit. And I think spirit is also the stat that determines how much of the fireballs you can actually carry. Because they do reset the shrines, but, um, you know, you can only carry so many each time. So, yeah. Oh, that was fast as hell. Usually you have to play tag with Pursuer and run around the enemy. Yeah, usually I do the same sheep. But yeah, like I said, like Killa showed me this spread like a long time ago, and I, it worked when when he was explaining it to me, and then I tried it. Um, but I haven't let it happen since, and then I'm I'm very happy with with how clean that kill was. Yeah, for the bigger enemies, and and when you get a shortcut, you can use them on the boss. Exactly. See, you're learning, sheep. You're learning. That's a huge boost. It's 20 DPS more. Well, 20 AR. Definitely not a bad one. <laughs> uh, wait, I think I need to buy fire bombs. Do we have any fire bombs on us? Uh, two. That should be enough. Dogs all down. Yeah, all three of them were dead. Okay, good. Now you're paranoid, it's like all the difficulty sank into the bad boss and everything else pale in comparison, even the lightning dog. Wait, lightning dog? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it is like. I think I said it on, on your stream last time, like the um, the uh, the bat is is definitely like the the biggest hurdle early game that there is. Like everything else is is kind of easy in comparison. boss later on that rolled around and then used lightning um oh right in the little garden area right before you take the elevator down and the elevator down leads to like a mausoleum with all those uh living statues and everything right 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 yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. what is it I don't... <laughs> no I always kind of thought it was a tiger, not a, not a dog. A land of knights. My sword is dope. 
or at least a big cat. Thank you. That one, you know it, those living statues were picked. You did no damage to them, but your female ally who two shot them. Um, it's dependent on um, your, your weapon, basically. Um, and also dependent on, on the type of damage you do with your weapons. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think for those, Odachi is actually quite good. But don't respect for Odachi. That, that's just waste effort. Because like the living statues, that that's, um, that's it, basically. Um, it was like Earth. Yeah. Earth should... Yeah, because the statues are Earth as well. So Earth against Earth isn't that good. I think wind. Was it wind against earth? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was wind against earth. I can't remember. It's basically like because you're um, the spear is basically piercing damage and not like more blunt like the Odachi. I mean, the Odachi is still like an edge weapon, but. Um, yeah, it, it's a uh, it's a difference. Oh, come on, get closer. Don't know where you got your spear from, but it does poison as well. That that's possible, yeah. Like honestly, some of the weapons um, are just fucking amazing in the game. Like, I love the fact that, that some of the weapons just have, have that type of uh, advantage. The, um, the extra damage types on them. And Glenn on Twitch is currently eating garlic bread. Probably never had garlic bread in my life. Yeah, definitely not. I, uh, um, I, I never ate garlic bread. What do you think my bread always smells like? Like fucking garlic. Ah, great. I hope there's some stuff like that. Increase the build up of your spirit ammo because you may want to spam it in BOP. Um, like in order to, to increase the damage of your uh, spirit animal, you're, you're gonna have to level up um, certain stats. But if you open up the, the the thing of your spirit animal, you're gonna see what you need to level up in order to increase its power, in order to get more bonuses. Same as with weapons and and um, with with. Uh, weapons and and um, and armor and everything. I, I can um, I can kind of show you like on stream, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain like this. Um, Shwell sheep. Doc didn't set me up for this run. Doc set me up for all bosses plus DLC deathless. But I I'm just gonna try this first. I've been trying it, um, Deadless, all bosses plus DLC, and, and I just can't do it. So we're gonna do this for a little bit. Uh, cheesy garlic bread is top tier. Oh yeah, Rachel, absolutely. Cheesy garlic bread is amazing. Ninja's mini never had garlic bread. Yeah, that, that's definitely what happened uh, when absolutely. 
Uh, one bad vision is supposed to be deadless, bro is master of clickbait. Well, I mean... Nuke, the, the, the thing is, um, we, we're trying. We're, we're trying very hard. And, and the death that we got was from failing to jump. So, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> master of clickbait. I'm the master of, of um, a lot of things. From the TV. Oh, boss plus DLC deadless, and you accept it. It's for um, 50 subs, uh, sheep. It's for 50 subs, so you know. I, I kind of have to at that point. Frigid outskirts. Frigid outskirts isn't the the um, the hardest part. Like the hardest part for me is just um, Fume Knight. I fucking hate Fume Knight. Maybe before you came in the stream, I've never heard of Mint. Yeah, I'm not. I, I've never heard of Mint. This is a new concept to me. I need Bolt Stone. Guys, nice. well, you were just kidding. Good luck. Thank you, Nuke. Thank you. Don't have a bolt stone. Where do we pick up a bolt stone? And salty in that's <laughs> coming. <laughs> and he's just here to bang Rachel in front of all of us. Well, okay then. Have have fun, salty. Wait, Glenn, you're eating salty? Wow. What what did salty do to deserve you eating him? Since you're a gaming institution, selling your service regardless of the suffering, though you wouldn't pass that up either. Yeah, exactly. Like, for, for that amount of, of um, cash in the pockets, I'm willing to do it. <laughs> but only barely. <laughs> this is a mint a green leaf? Mint is a green leaf. Nuclear sound. Use them to brew tea. Uh, indeed, indeed. Um, where do we pick up a bolt stone? Need to read each shoots and leaves again. What are you up to, Glenn? How much? change is most likely something gross. Yeah, it is after all Glenn who is doing it, so it's definitely something gross. <clears throat> uh, but Sheep, when will you be streaming next? Well, Neo. When will you be streaming Neo next? on Jinch because he has never heard of Min because he is a backwards old coming from our functional drunk up north
And honestly, Glenn might be a high-functioning drunk, but I use the word functioning quite loosely. I take that compliment. <laughs> me something so I tired that fuck haven't slept yet. Um did I ask you something salty? I honestly have no idea anymore. I just talked so much that I that I lost all traction of, of what I am saying. Chetty actually DM'd you at 3am all the time to ask what certain herbs are. Well, yeah, Glenn, because um, the herbs you're talking about, I mean, it's always weed. Uh, like, your answer to every herb there is is always weed. So, I I'm just really wondering, are, are you okay, man? Like, seriously? Like if you know well salty i mean you only know things if rachel says them if rachel says something you're on your knees basically um praising her but if someone else you you pay little attention you start elden ring and sekiro this weekend we then shoot for the best Coriander in your coffee, watching snow cheese go to sleep. You know, for some reason, coriander in coffee doesn't sound too bad. She's your dummy mommy. <laughs> oh god, I, I'm not even sure if I feel sorry for Rachel or for Salty. Like, I've known Rachel for quite a few years now. And, um, I think I feel bad for Salty. <laughs> that is the easiest I've ever done that. Wow. Don't need sympathy from a soul as ginger. Well, I mean, someone needs to have sympathy when, when you're dealing with Rachel. I can tell you that much. What you mean? Uh, nothing, Rachel. I kind of forgot you were here. Please don't hurt me. You're offended? Ha! That I don't believe for a second. You never get offended. You have no sense of decency, Rachel. How the fuck can you be offended? It's true, you were lying. <laughs> Oh, 
what Rage for Wars Pure? Rage is, is the forest thing you can get from Pure. Apparently, no denial. Nope, nope, nope. He won't deny that. <laughs> Meant it as a compliment. Yeah. Come on, are you on me now? Painting my chat with your build. I, I, I'm not Rachel. I'm not. <laughs> Glenn, yeah, you, you, you're, you, yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely the, the um, the, the pure one that that's left. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, always when I see your name popping up in chat, I always think, oh, that's here's that Puritan um Glenn again. It's the first thing that comes to mind. If you're here, you're not pure. This is very true. This one. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. See, Rapier is, is doing the work. Like it's, it's going pretty well. And Glenn spoke to Jesus, you're back in. <laughs> Nail to cross your your god carries a hammer. <laughs> right. type in the bible he was actually nailed three red hot babes on the cross kinky
probably porn pop. I wonder if there's many Bible porn. Like you would think that that there that people wouldn't really think that well. I would imagine. Then again, what what do people take well these days? So yeah. Other way, table. Once when you're on in, in this chat, I'm your lord. Uh, should we level up that ab ability so that we get a hundred in it? But I don't know if it's worth it or not. And <laughs> Rachel is googling Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> If it's lightning damage, lightning is gonna scale off of um, fate, isn't it? We need a bolt stone first. So the question now is, where do we get a bolt stone? Let's fix for tell us. I mean, those are far away. Crystal lizard in the shaded woods would be the first one. Jesus Christ, Rachel. <laughs> How does it end? Um, plan probably sticky. But we can't travel to the chair with at this point, can we? Yeah, we can. Wait, shit, woods. It's that way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I have a second... Well, okay, god damn it, I thought it was 10. Oh, not the report, that's the wrong one.
video, he definitely doesn't have anything giant. <laughs> and Rachel would know she'd seen her fair share. Ask for this bread conversation when you hit the gate of paradise. You mean my doorstep? Hell not hell. Going to hell not hell is a lush par green paradise where you will have all the meat you want and bang all the shield maidens you want. At least you'll be banging something. Yeah, heaven sounds like such a drag. Like, heaven sounds kind of boring, doesn't it? That's what most men say they have a giant big temple out of four inches at least. So I'm on a cloud watching you all fumble about trying to get in, and then God will turn to me and say, Hey, what do you think? Do I hate it? They're white. Of approval for you to get in, you will be relying on your goodwill because you're pure in God's trust. You. Glenn, there is nothing pure about you. I thought we covered this. second that salty. Holy and complex. Holy and complex about their dick, yeah. Fair enough. Also in here. <clears throat> Not that we needed that, but okay. Uh, we can. We should kill this guy. you most guys don't go down women is shockingly high it's so weird oh 
Well. I don't know. I never had a problem doing that. Like, the weirdest thing I have heard about that is, like, that some men, in order to do that, they, um... They cut open a condom and put it on there so that they have different flavor than the actual woman's um, taste, so to speak. Which is weird to me, but yeah. Is my screen being set on? This video is never making it past the censors on YouTube. Isn't there supposed to be an item up here? Oh, chest. Totally missed that. It's all the Come on, target lock. Never just grind your hips for three. Just give you pants. There you go. Thank you so much. That wasn't good. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna read out every comment on Twitch because I, I do want this video to actually, you know, make a difference on YouTube as well. And I, I really feel that none of this is gonna get past YouTube censor. Indeed, it does not. Most of the strange weapons have that issue. It's really fucking annoying. We're making good progress, we're making good time. I'm, I'm happy with this right now. That's so far, so that's pretty good as well. Do we actually need to infuse the weapon or do we need to just um you know get get a shitload of these well, i would think we would find some bosses who aren't like susceptible to lightning damage i would think where's killer when you need him I don't think you can like use resin on on infused weapons can you I'm just gonna buy three of these now for now Farewell. May we meet again? I mean we do have enough rapiers to, to do anything with it so that do cool for his channel, he only comes here when you pay him. Wow. You pay him then quite often. Nicks, but he charges more. Well, he does have the largest channel. It makes sense.
gonna head over to Tarkin or whatever his face is. Fucking hell. That's not what we wanted to see. Watch me go to Puzzle 2, or is that just a special for change? Oh, you just want to see the toilet plan, don't you? Yellow wall and everything. God damn it. Pretty sure that was the bald one that we needed. sure if you believe this well Rachel up to you what you believe or not the speed streams at the same time that's just a bonus stream from your toilet seat one day as a meme um i don't think that's possible i mean i would have to like rearrange my entire setup and, and my entire um you know everything basically so I, I don't think it's possible for me to stream from my toilet Nice and no torque summon could this day get any worse yeah i think i might have to go for the torque summon wouldn't be the worst idea <laughs> but we have to get the ring then
Hi, kitty. Um. It's this one, isn't it? Satisfied? Never. I'll be around. I can also pick up one type my chunk. You love that cat? Yeah, it's alright. It's a nice kitty. Wait, do we have a shield that actually might help us out more? Bonus. Now there's your boss to land. Like, you know me, if they were actual people I would have let them cook a bit. But bots, no. A lot of those lately. I guess in my channel as well as I, I've seen so many killer. Uh, and yeah. Oh, come on! That's just fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh, boss main leader was a viewer here who promised to blight you with a bot army, I recall. Was there? I can't even remember that, honestly, Glenn. Come over here, Rachel. I'll scratch your back real good. I'm a smoky McCroll boy. <laughs> Pay dearly for this crime. <laughs> mm.
That was a lot easier. I basically just needed someone to distract her, it seems. I mean, our, our sword hasn't even, like, the pine resin hasn't even finished yet. Pintor. Turk is the best summon in any FromSoft game. Uh-uh. Nope. That, that reward goes to Iron Thorcus. For, for his service in, in soloing... Uh, Iron Golem in, in Dark Souls 1. Miyazaki only ever make one man scorpion summon Boggle the Mountain. Iron Thorcus, are you kidding? Nope, not kidding at all. Iron Thorcus is the best summon. Absolutely no. Why would I be trolling about that? Most random shit you've ever heard? Why why is that a random Okay, why is Iron Torcus is the best summon a hot day? Or or why would that be a troll? Burn him? Burn everything in the Sure, your your name isn't popping up. I have no idea who you are, my dear. Uh, over in the YouTube chat. But hello and welcome in. <laughs> Why did you have a particularly good experience with Iron Torcus? I mean, what's not to like about Iron Torcus? Like, he, he just comes in, he, he solos the boss for you, and he fucks back off. And then he finds his dad over in uh, Anor Londo, and he's kind enough to leave his entire armor set and then weapons behind. Why wouldn't you like him? He's a good bloke. Now we could do it. The Iron Golem by himself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He solos Iron Golem. Like Iron Golem is is um, yeah. He just he just comes in and solos him. It it's fucking insane.
Oh, I think I'm gonna go. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the war first. We haven't really done that bit yet. Um, and we do get Gavlin there. He might be a bit of a help. We do need to get uh, Gavlin for the uh, the poison arrows. That we will need later on. Good day. He actually hit me. I'm offended by that. Yeah, you hit me too. I don't like you anymore. Alright, this is the port where we have to equip our bow. Oh. Hang on, because we didn't equip any arrows. That's in two hours isn't bad. No, it's definitely not bad. I mean, but the first that was basically just you know not jumping where I should have jumped. So that's definitely avoidable. 
And I mean, the second bet was against, um, you know, the Scorpion. And I feel like if, if I, like, that was a mistake born out of being cocky. Because I think if I had just um, summoned in Torcus like I usually do, we wouldn't have died on that first attempt either. Reminds you of you know the cave behind Solitude in Skyrim. It's like a kind of warp in there too. Um, I can't say I remember the cave, Glenn. It's been a very long time since I played Skyrim. Maybe I should play Skyrim again. Like I said, it has been a very long time. And seeing how it's available to on any console known to man, it still baffles me the fact how many times did they re-release that or, or you know, remastered it or, or did that kind of things with it. It's fucking insane. normal enemy around. Oh, here he is. Uh, do I have a Ferris Lockstone on me? Yes. I have three of the buggers. Great. No! gone a lot worse or uh, red swarm on Twitter um, I read somewhere before on Twitter where someone basically said the only thing waiting for people at the end of the Fallout TV show is decade old game and no chance of a sequel for years to come I don't think people are waiting on the Fallout TV show to, to go and play the game.
tried getting into New Vegas, but yeah, like I, I tried it after like um, you know all, all the newer stuff came out, and then that was a mistake, I think, because it it just the, the retro aspect of it wasn't just yeah, it just wasn't for me. I mean, it was huge. Like, New Vegas was a huge game. I would say it was, it still is. Obviously. Yeah, I think it has one of the larger um, maps out of the Fallout series. No! Unfucking believable. <clears throat> Huge videos about the lore too. Sounds fucking brutal. I mean, everything about Skyrim, uh, about um, Fallout is just fucking brutal. If you listen to some of the, ah, oh, fucking, it's so close to fucking, yeah. If you listen to some of like the the, the vault experiments that were done, it's it's uh it's like brutal is an understatement. Give me one second. There we go. Just had to turn the heat off. It's warm enough here. There was a vault full of clones called Gary. Yes. Yep. <laughs> there was. Uh... Weird stuff like that, yeah. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you joking me right now? Aspect of it is just chef's kiss. Felt like that about a game a long time. The issue is it crashes a lot. Does it still crash a lot? Because I thought, like, I mean, obviously it hasn't received a deck, uh, an update in, in several years. But I would think that that was solved by the time that, that um, you know, it wasn't that popular anymore.
Fuck you, puppies. I was fucking closer than I wanted that to be, but fuck you, puppies. I think it was worse on PS3. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine so. Which is, you know, now with, with PlayStation 4 and 5 and everything, it's so easy to, to bring out, um, like, not finished games and just patch in everything later. And I think that that's definitely a detriment to, like, video games in general. Because, yeah... Back in the day, games had to be finished in order to be released because you just couldn't just patch them later on. But now it's it's it's, it's fucking ridiculous. And war with ten life gems is bold. What's bold about that? Our weapon is way too upgraded to actually be here. I mean, what's our weapon at right now? Plus seven, yeah. Playing on PC isn't bad, that's good. Yeah, I think I had it on PC. I, I think I still have it on PC. Like, I think it's even installed. I'm percent sure though. But, yeah. Seriously? You show up too? You shouldn't show up. That that's pretty new. I guess like the thing is on PC you can always find like pitch pitches and everything, can't you? To try it again. Well, I tried it last time. I, I think was it? Yeah. We tried it last time with the um, with the twenty-four hour stream. Um, and and it, it kind of made the stream crash. So I, I haven't gone back to it since. I think it was mainly a resolution issue. Because it's not used to playing in like 4K resolution as is. I have my stream set up. So it kind of crashed, you know, switching between the, the screen. Um, with the, 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 uh, the normal screen basically and, and um, the game. Fix the problem and stream it. Okay, Rachel, fine. I'll see if I can get a fix. Jesus Christ. The things I do for my fans. Um... I can pull out three and try it out. We've only played four. Mostly three isn't bad, four isn't bad. And then you guys are gonna hate me. I actually liked Fallout 76 as well. But mainly because, you know, you hear all the stuff about all the crashes and everything. I never had an issue with that. Like, I, I didn't experience any crashes. Well, maybe one or two, but, like, nothing really abysmal was going on with the game for me. So maybe I was just lucky, but yeah. Like I know Owen uh, played it too, 
and he was having like a lot of issues with it but yeah i, I just never had any issues or, or at least not many the game of the year edition because the original game is broken and stuff not sure maybe i had the original game edition. I, I don't know Honestly, couldn't tell you. There we go. Since you have to get PlayStation Plus Premium to get access, fuck that. For place uh, for oh yeah, that that might be true. Yeah, that might be in the game catalog for uh, PlayStation Plus Premium. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, yeah, there's the normal. PlayStation Plus, then there's Essential. Hang on. Uh, yeah, so I have Extra. Uh, and then there's like... Ah, there it is. There's Premium, there's Extra, and... Essential. Yeah, so Essential is the basic pack. So share play, cloud storage, game help, online multiplayer, exclusive packs, with discount, and the monthly games. And then in the extra, you have the Ubisoft Plus Classics and the game catalog. And then for the premium, you have Sony Pictures catalog, cloud streaming, catalog with classic games, and trial versions of games. But yeah, there's quite a bit. Want to pump money uh, out of you, don't they? Uh, yeah, it's a business. If you is on premium too, you wanted to play that at some point. Yeah, I think those are like that, that's in the um, in the classic catalog. All of those, are, isn't it? I think because they're definitely not the newest games you're talking about. No, it's definitely not. I mean, with, with you know, you get the retro games and everything, but I just don't really play retro games. Like PlayStation One, Two, and Three classics, I, I don't really need that. So I just got like the the, the normal, well, the, the you know the middle tier basically. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how much a year it is. I don't even know how much a month it is. It just automatically for me. So, yeah. I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. I mean, I shoot, but I, I don't really pay attention. Is 
get Xbox Game Pass and it was 99 a year, we had access to everything. Yeah, Game Pass is an amazing thing. Like, Game Pass is, is, is great. It kind of sucks that Sony hasn't adopted the, um, the same thing as, as Xbox has done. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Never played Starfield. I don't have the Microsoft with me anymore, so I, I wouldn't really know. Yeah, this move set should help to kill that fucking little piece of shit. Get the bolt stone. Didn't even know that. Mm, you bought into the hype about it. Yeah, it won't be C. Hmm. I don't know we actually played that. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Burning curse? Yeah, curse, I know, I know. It, it, it fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm glad curse doesn't count as a death. And welcome in, Gam Gam. How are you doing? Uh, meanwhile, on Twitch, change gas station simulator is on sale right now. Gas station simulator. Does, is is that what I what I think it sounds like? Because that just kind of yeah. <laughs> So you you basically try and run a gas station? Oh my god, forlorn. Well, this is fucked now. Oh, you little shit. Alright, let him come this way, forlorn. Uh, pretty good, thank you. Good luck on your own. Thank you very much, Gam Gam. Appreciate the support. Yeah, we've been having some bad luck with the run <laughs> so far. Oh, where the hell is he? Oh, 
know you played Power Wash Simulator, it's calming if you have OCD. It's really not calming. Like, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, you little. What the actual fuck? Why can I not get that thing? It is starting to stress me out. Where the hell is a bloody forlorn? Games to be super peaceful. I think it depends on the game. No, I don't see myself playing like something like Power Wash Simulator. We can the spring sale stuff now. Or the R2 is never on, not on sale. Yeah. Where is that bloody forlorn spirit? How many subs for Power Wash Simulator? Um, well, how much does the game cost? can you only get immersed in kidnapping simulator or similar shit basically it's nazi basically if it doesn't involve violent crime why would i play it here we go paywalling well yeah in this case if you guys want me to play a certain game like i'm, I'm not gonna say like you have to like um pay me the entire thing you know that that's not that's not fair but like, um, you know, 50% or 25. I think that seems fair. If you really want me to play a game, yeah. Okay, where the hell is that forlorn spirit? Fucking like 19.99. Alright, so five gift subs. Five gift subs and I'll play the game. You pay you monthly? You pay me monthly for my for the pleasure of my company, Snazzy. And to, you know, not have ads over on Twitch. But I don't know where that forlorn spirit is. Like, he's not even hunting me or anything. Like, what the actual fuck? We can't quit out, can we? Nope. Right, different tactic then. I'm not gonna spend all my time just looking for it. Going strike until 12 hour power wash simulator. Nope. Five gift subs and I'll play it. Hang on, let me let me just check. It has a career mode? Why would that thing have a career mode? Um, I actually have the game. strike all you want i mean what does a strike 
from my viewers actually entail? Just out of curiosity. You will refuse to be funny. Um, so, Glenn, you're you're on strike all the time. Oh, dirty chat. Oh, thank God! Finally, Rachel, something I can actually broadcast then. Say this, no more subs. I mean, you can, but that means um, you know if you guys stop subbing. Um, you know, that, that basically means that um, I will have to stop doing this as my uh, main source of income, which means I will have to, you know, find a proper job and I will have to stop streaming. So, no more streams for you guys. Finally! He's guilt tripping us now? Damn straight. If I'm not paywalling you guys, I'm, I'm guilt tripping you. You deserve to be cursed. I'm cursed. I, I am just a cursed person. You already sub, you won't sub, you don't need to convince you anymore. <laughs> okay. So basically, Snazzy wants me to end the stream right now. And Sheep says that I, uh, over on YouTube, that I should paywall my content. And I am. I'm definitely paywalling it. <laughs> and then we'll stop gift subbing buddies who doesn't fucking come here anyway. He came here a little bit. Make an OF? I'm not gonna make a fucking OF. By the way, Sheep. Do you know if I should actually um, infuse the rapier with, with Bolt? Or should I just upgrade it? Um, and then, you know, use the resin. Because I have the bolt stone right now, I'm just not sure if that's the way forward or not. I know you did rapier up until like new game plus two or something, so I'm just wondering. Oh wait, Snazzy, I'm already running Rachel's OF. I can't run two. Not how you're asking me. Uh, maybe go for lightning, that's what you did. Yeah, but with an infusion, right, sheep? Not not just with the resin. Went for lightning infusion on ice rapier. Oh, okay. Alright, there we go. Lightning rapier. Uh, which means that now with the lightning damage, don't we then need to like level up uh, fate in order to have more damage? I think. Rachel can bring my OF Empire to its knees by merely wearing socks. <laughs> this is very, very true. I need you? Well, I don't know. I think you need me more than I need um, you. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, because, like, if, if you hadn't had me, Glenn, what else would you be doing right now? 
getting drunk again? You know, that costs more money than, than watching me. Tune into my main rival, Geek Nerd Living. Oh my god, not that guy! Well, I wouldn't even be surprised if there was a channel called Geek Nerd Living. Or tier 3 over there. Will spam report me? Snazzy, Twitch has tried to ban me, and Twitch has failed. Actually, I shouldn't say that too loud. Wait, no. This doesn't. It's still with text? Well, not with text either, or at least not that much. Lightning skills with... yeah, lightning skills with um, fate, so yeah, fate. You have a dentist in the morning. Well, Rachel, we all know how how um, pleasant you find it to um, open wide. So I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. I don't give a blowjob tonight. They can tell. Can they tell? Her dentist can tell if you give no jobs. Is that the real thing? Is that the real thing? <laughs> uh, how are you gonna do the gang squad headless? See, the gang squad headless isn't that much of an issue. Um, the, the main thing is you gotta take the archer out first, and then you can cheese the other two. And there's a cheese that works pretty well on them. Just that the archer has to be out of the way for that to work. Even two thousand today. <laughs> it's just not it's not always down the truth. Um, but yeah, there's so if you kill the archer uh, from the gang squad, there's like um, in the back of the arena where the archer is. If you go to the left side. There's like a little. Um, stalagmites, you know, the things coming up from the ground, that you can actually stand behind uh, if you do it correctly. Um, but it's, it's a bit tricky to get behind it. And if you stand behind it, the enemies won't actually be able to, to get to you, and you can just keep poking with something like a rapier. I use poison and toxic mist with the crown that restores your spells every two minutes. Hmm. I mean, that can work, yeah. But you did that fully deathless? I don't know, the thing is, like, I'm, I'm gonna do any percent first anyway, and then um, get to, um, like, post game basically. I'm gonna try and see what I can do in a DLC. Because I do need to, like the DLC, I'm 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 not very good in it to, to get um, get much done. I'm hoping now maybe with the rapier things will be different, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see for the DLC. <laughs> Me and my funny joke. Your dad says hi. Hi, Snazzy's dad. Good evening, sir. 
Yeah, Glenn is trying to score points with Snazzy's dad because he's uh he wants to marry his daughter. No, you're not doing this game deathless? Oh come on. Oh yeah, sheep. I still have that catchphrase. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. I mean, Snazzy, Dad. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> oh, you want to marry him and be Snazzy's new gay dad? Oh, wow. For now, okay. Big plans in in um, in Glenn's head. Plans we don't really want to be privy to, but there it is. Safe. Are you kidding me, dude? I want to hear it. No, when you eventually fall into a pit and ruin the deathless. I already ruined the deathless by having three deaths. I mean, this is definitely not the attempt. <laughs> Okay, that was horrible to do. Googling power bottom? You, you don't want to Google power bottom, Glenn. You, you really don't want to Google power bottom. The ads you will get after this are gonna be um, hell on earth. Can have more, but just impressive an engine because you can be sure. Told you you didn't want to Google it then. <laughs> You'll be that. <laughs> gonna go pick up look at deal because I always do that and I always forget to bring her as far like she's definitely a help in the fight
Shut up, Snazzy. <laughs> Pretty sure there's normally a second summon here as well, but I haven't had it on on the last playthrough, and I don't have it on this one either, weirdly enough. So I don't know what what's going on with that. Resource. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fair. What area you dragging the most for this run? Um, Iron Keep. Iron Keep. Without a, without a doubt. I hate Iron Keep. For the any percent, like for for like all bosses and DLC, it's definitely most of the DLC areas. But yeah, for for just any percent, it's definitely gonna be um, Iron. I'm gonna disable the quotes again. <laughs> it's just one press of a button for disabling the quotes. I think it might save my reputation. I mean, what little of my reputation is left. I think there's no more Code 69. Yeah, welcome in, Killa. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, Killa, we had to um, we had to get rid of Code 69. Uh, for reasons. Same amount. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lot better. Iron Keep is atrocious. Remember to not lower both ends of the bridge. Small demons, so you can get flanked by Law Knight. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Like, I take out the Law Knight before I even uh, get, um, well, most of them before I get off the uh, second end of the bridge. It's very doable. Killa! Where were you earlier? I had questions about doing this game without dying. And you were nowhere to be fine. F found. Not fine. You left me! You left me! Uh, and I know you're, you're working now again, like like back to full time work. Yeah, that three times because of you. you. Did see me fall in no man's war. Yeah, that was like that. That I, I didn't like that. <laughs>
So it, it was an honest mistake. Like it was just it it was stupidity, but it was an honest mistake. Oh, when he is putting the handle in his ass a little bit, I guess. Oh, but actually, um... Now, now that you are here, Killa, you know the rapier has uh, trouble hitting stuff on the ground. So my question to you is, can it be, actually be used to kill uh, Magus? You know, the, or the prowling congregation bit. Because I kind of feel that, that it won't like really stab down on them. Jump attack? Is there a jump attack in this game? Jumping heavy will work. Jumping heavy? There, there's a jumping heavy? Forward and heavy attack at the same time. So forward and heavy attack, but that doesn't... That's the heavy attack. Seriously? Same time. Okay, I'm trying, but I can kick in the S1. I hate kicks in the S1. Not moving and attacking, push forward and attack at the same time. Push forward and attack. If if you push the analog stick forward, it's gonna like it's gonna then take a step forward. Like watching a baby learn how to play. Shut up, Rachel. Let's stick forward plus or two. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, see? Just tap it. I'm not holding it. Like, seriously. And Trace over on uh, YouTube says, have you tried using the AK-47 item? I, I have not. I have not, no. I, I really wish... Hold forward. Okay, I'm holding forward. That's holding forward. It is a great game. Welcome in, Rachel. Uh, Cliff, sorry. Welcome in, Cliff. How are you doing? So a new game plus... And die three times away just in the Forest of Giants. The game is built different. It really, really is. What do you mean, no? Press them at the same time, but hold forward. But. What? <laughs> press them at the same time, but hold forward. So, we press at the same time, but I keep. I mean, then it just starts walking again. I don't get it. Okay, you know what? Secondary weapon. No bullshit. <laughs> you gaslight me. I'm not gaslighting you. Like, I mean, this is forward, right? This is forward. So forward. So we store by pressing them at the same time. Then I hold forward, and it just starts walking. It may be different on PC. 
midday nap, had an early ass shift in corporate land, woke up at 5 a.m. for a 7 a.m. appointment. Uh, Five to teach me music school. <laughs> oh, awesome, Glyph. Awesome. You 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 have a busy day. Stop making this so difficult. You play in the game. This is content. This is content. This is fucking content. You made me turn on the game. <laughs> Maybe you change your settings. I, I don't think I've changed any of the settings. Um. Like, I mean, this is just on, on PC, so maybe it is different. I mean, this is on PlayStation, you know, maybe it's... Pressing two buttons simultaneously, not everyone can do it. Are you honestly gonna make me turn on my fucking console too? Yes! Yes, Gila, I'm gonna make you turn on your fucking console too! Stay a five coffee kind of day. 3 p.m. your three coffees and a nap and so forth. That's not too bad. Three coffees at 3 p.m. PlayStation and don't do and you do it, don't fucking blame the console. Of those days you days them. Uh poor people always complaining about work. Uh I don't have that problem. This is my work. In all fairness, I am complaining about it right now. It's <laughs> nasty <laughs> making me think I forgot how to do it. No, seriously, like, guys, I'm, I'm holding up my controller. You guys can see what I'm doing. Alright, we the analog stick and attack at the same time. About the job, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Live exactly. <laughs> Step forward in order to imagine making DS2 your job. Oh, yeah, th this was a horrible idea, Clip. There's no doubt about it. This was a horrible idea, but still, like a third of a second later at most, at the same time. Okay, I mean, guys, you're, you're literally seeing me do it. You're literally seeing me do it. We're not tapping. Hey! We got one! We got one! Why is it so inconsistent? God damn it! <laughs> okay, it doesn't actually work with the rapier. Fuck you, killer! Fuck you! <laughs> You wish your stream was this good? Well, Cliff, we can't all be, you know, as amazing and as, as a genius as I as I am, you know. Yeah, I mean, it did work like two times now, but like, it doesn't work consistently. Or to slightly first. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, but we can't really get it consistently. It does work, but like not. No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hammer to smack them down. Bam! 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 <sighs> You've been trying to jump for 10 minutes. It, it, it worked! Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna, by the way, get a torch. I don't think I have flame butterflies anymore. No, I do not. I need to pick up flame butterflies. Look, I mean, yeah. It works like 0.0% of the time. I can follow the rule on the rim right now. Best <laughs> team of all time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if we can't get that consistently, uh, and, and, and you know, it, it's not um, really a skill issue. Proud of you, Jinch. Look, Killa, it, it's... I mean, it, it's definitely different on, on PC, where you do most of your runs. So I blame that. You, you probably have, have a, a separate button uh, on your keyboard just for that one attack. I, I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Yeah. Just take some practice. Yeah, I probably just take some practice. Fair enough. But yeah. I mean, if we got a secondary weapon that can hit stuff on the ground, I'm not going to waste time, like, you know, trying to get that. You know, we'll do um, do the things that are standing up with the rapier and the things that are crawling with the um, with the hammer. Fucking bow. We do have a fucking bow. I know we have a fucking bow. They also have the bow equipped. And skill issues when it comes to hitting me. Ooh, wow. <laughs> What's the PB at right now, Killer? Bow is coded. Yeah, bow is great. I mean, it's. It, I only have the short bow now and it's not upgraded or anything. So, yeah, but, you know, it's still coded. Any mm. percent you fuck? What do you mean 80% you fuck? Probably do a bow only run of this game. I did? I did, I did do a bow only run of this game. <laughs> yes! And that was fucking torture. I'm still surprised that I did that. And we did do like all bot. Actually, I think we might not have. I'm not sure if I, in the end, had all bot down. I know we took a lot of effort on Oana, for instance. With it bow only. But yeah, it's 24, but the game is cheating on all 24 of those. As this game does. Ow, will you stop it? I swear to God, we are not dying to these fucks. Why are you still alive? Oh, you fuck. Yeah, this does not... Hey! It works if they rear their ugly ass hats. 
as they are wont to do. Oh, okay, that was easier than I expected. Um, you prefer DS2 or Bloodborne and Demon Souls? Nope. DS2 can go fuck itself. Demon Souls and Bloodborne are much better than DS2. DS2 and Demon Souls are about tied for me at the bottom. Bloodborne is at the top. Yeah, absolutely. And Demon Souls is like a solid number two. Bloodborne is your comfort game? Yeah, I can see that. Bloodborne is an amazing game. So is Demon Souls. Someone gets a pass for being the first. Yeah. Demon Souls is amazing. I, I really love Demon Souls. Like I, I said this earlier on in the stream as well. Like I grew up with with Demon Souls and with um, Dark Souls One. Yeah, those were like the first. I mean, it weren't the first proper games I played. It was like definitely the first series that actually hooked me. Starting from Demon Souls, I played them fucking all. Most of them on release. DX2, soul level 1 is comfy, cozy, a good de-stress. Oh god. Killa, just out of curiosity, you did infuse your rapier, right? With, with lightning, or do you just use the resin? Uh, okay, Cliff, have fun at work, and, and thank you very much for the lurk. Only resin. Oh, fuck. I mean, mine is infused with lightning. But in all fairness, I do have like three others I can upgrade. Oh, uh, no, two others. I got really lucky with drops. Fusion splits damage, resin just adds lightning on top of physical damage. Resin is better. Okay. So we're gonna upgrade the second rapier too. I'll be around. I influence from the head to the chain. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Sheep has steered me wrong. What the fuck? So then basically the points I put into... Um, into... Fate in order to keep the lightning damage up was pretty useless. That's great. Would I need them? Would I really need the bright box? In a base game? No 
build six euro win. Yeah. Yeah, currently both weapons are upgraded to the same level and, and the infuse one still has more damage. I buy about 50 points. Yeah, you're probably right. Not sure. They're already 12k. Go buy one now. <clears throat> you might which deck. Well, yeah, but like, yeah. Maybe we'll definitely use them in a post game, um, or or we should use them in a post game. Um, wait, who sells flame butterflies? Because we kind of need some of those. Do flame butterflies? No. Does anyone sell flame butterflies? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We will light it. At a bonfire. I think Mavis popped into kill us chat last night. But she was yeah, she was quite late, later than um previous days. Something about going to see her bass guitar player friend a week ago. I mean, her since. I hope she's having fun with her friend. I'm sure she is, Glad. I'm sure she is. There's also, yeah, there's two summons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there should be three, actually, but yeah. Two that we care about. Base Guitar is the only one you don't play, you don't like the sounds. No, I never really, yeah. I always wanted to play guitar, but I just never like found the time to actually learn it. Because I think it takes like learning the guitar takes a lot of time and practice. And I mean, I'm barely adequate at streaming, let alone if I learn the guitar. Jeez. roof <laughs> this video Ooh, we don't have uh, 
Can develop no summons wild? I use fucking summons. Video you can watch every now and then. Kind of falling in love on Kalimba. This guy plays it to his dog and it's one of your favorite videos. I'm gonna have to look that up. Learn guitar and stream it, you would have so much more. I already have plenty, uh, Rachel, but thank you. <laughs> I'll no summon. I'll summon as much as I like. Wait, I feel like I already said that. Seen that guy, Glenn, he loved it, especially the Star Wars Canteen one he did. Interesting. Uh, the only instrument I have in my home is um, a uh, harmonica. I tried getting into that like during lockdown and, and I, I just couldn't. <laughs> like, it, it's a very weird thing to learn how to play, honestly. Like, definitely by yourself, because it, it really matters, like, how you're holding it. You don't really have anyone saying, like, okay, you're holding it wrong or anything. You know? Also, hand shot first, and definitely shot first. Isn't Stevie Wonder known for playing piano, not 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 uh, harmonica? Did not, did not expect harmonica. Well, I don't know. I always liked the harmonica, um, but yeah, I, I never really gave much thought about yeah, like learning how to play it until like lockdown came around, and then yeah, I just thought why the hell not? Ideal moment. Ow! Stop turning around so much! The reason I want to play or like play harmonica is it's maybe kind of weird, but um, and and maybe this is not really a thing, and then maybe you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. But um, have any of you seen the, um, the TV show according to Jim? It's basically, a TV show by Jim Bellucci, and then he plays the the, the harmonica there, and and you know, in, in like. A blues kind of thing, a blues jazzy kind of band, and yeah, that is kind of like, yeah, I, I kind of love that. And a blues jazz kind of thingy from from harmonica, it is. I, I really like the sound of that. My ankle. Oh my god, you're so wistfully when they finally put you in jail. Yeah, exactly. It's only a matter of time, let's be honest. It's gonna happen one of these days. Oh, by the way, Killa, if you're still here, 
Um, I did like a very clean, um, a very clean um, um, pursuer with like the tactic with the ballista as you taught me. Let that work like a charm. Yeah, I'm gonna clip it tomorrow. Like it was, um, like it was clean as fuck. He's lying. He died to pursuer. I did not die to pursuer. What was basic bitch in the place? Blue. I did not die to pursuer. Watch the vault. Um, disrespectful. I never really liked the food. Like the food was always one of those things that you just had to learn in school, isn't it? Like, yeah, that that's definitely a valuable skill I want to have for later in life: learning how to play the fucking flute. You know, filling out tax returns. Um, that that's definitely not something important. Um, but you know, the flutes. That that's the real thing that you're gonna need later in life. Play three flutes in a triangle shape, in a triangle shape, all at the same time. I mean, I can blow on three flutes at the same time. I'm not in, in a triangle shape. I can pull off. But whether or not that's considered playing them is something else. I kind of have a large mouth. I'm sure I can fit three flutes in there. Did you learn you could blow three flutes at the same time? As I said, I, I just think I have a very, very large mouth. That, that's the that's the um that's the short of it and and i don't think we need to discuss that any further or investigate it at any point in life when you have a life or death situation and you're required to play the flute yeah like if if, if the thing is like uh, it's either you die or you play the flute i'm okay with dying i've had a good life well i mean i've had a life wouldn't say necessarily good but i've had a life check out his OF now no 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 no, no, no. don't go to my OF you, 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 no, 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 no. Just keep supporting me here. No, don't, don't support me on the web. That, that's really not necessary. Rational Snazzy won't, won't pity me. Ah, oh, Bleeding cause of that. Since you were the three guys behind you on your OF profile pic. I doubt you will find my OF. It's very well hidden. Nobody would ever suspect that Belgian big cock is really me. Go to the OF, you have 50% shares. No, no, you only have 50% shares in, in the OF that, that me and you have together. Like, 
all the other stuff is just purely me, Rachel. You're not the only um, girl I have on the payroll. What makes you think you're so special? Play the music video for greatest song in the world by Nation D. But the devil actually turns up and says, play the flute or I'll eat your soul. Are you kidding me, dude? You're definitely special. Yes, you are, Rachel. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I am such a horrible person. The only free woman on the payroll, though, tries to do it against their will. Hush, 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 hush. We don't want that kind of uh, information out on the internet. You know, the United Nations might um, come knocking if, if they know I, I basically enslave a, a small third world country to, to make a web content. He unzips his um, hammer pants. <laughs> what does the devil wear? Why would I say hammer pants? Sure, those don't have zippers. The devil is handsome when, he's all, when he isn't all red to corn. Oh, Snazzy has been watching Lucifer. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what would the devil wear? Like, what kind of pants kind of scream? Yeah, that's the fucking devil. Rada. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Devil wears Prala, yeah, yeah, he, he, uh, he does, he does. It says so in the Bible. <laughs> Nepo has one of those cork heads they wear in Australia. You no, know, I can see that. He's usually depicted with like a top head or something, but yeah, one of those cork heads from Australia. Yeah, absolutely. Love if Jesus wore a bucket hat. Oh, you and your bucket, Snazzy. Still be Catholic if he did. There was one more. Wasn't there? Hmm. Guess not. Oi! So happy this is Nathless. <laughs> that was skeletons 100%? Nah, nah. Um, should we get it on that lock away key? No. I don't see the point. I wonder if you know a serial killer? 
Oh, yes. Yes, you do, Snazzy. One does. Great, there will be a bone wheel that will bring you down. Where are all your skulls for this fight? Um, we need skulls for this fight? I have one skull. Yes, maybe not for that. I, I wouldn't know. This is the first time I'm doing like with this build for that. So I, I have no idea what, what I'm gonna what I'm doing actually. So yeah. Make it easier. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? I mean is it worth it to go get them? So we're gonna try like this and we'll we'll see on the second attempt. I mean if if they if we need a second attempt. Do you reckon you'll get run maybe before the end of the year? Get yeah, next run. Yeah. I should definitely get it. Oh, god damn you. I mean, they die easily enough, that's not the issue. Wait, I, I thought, like, this this is always my strat, you know? Kill one lord, take care of the skeletons, kill the other lord, take care of the skeletons. Is that the wrong way to do this? Hitless, you don't need rounds, you can adapt whatever you want. Head out of your ass. I assume just love the abuse. <laughs> I'll see, like, this is working. See, now we only have, like, the two, um... Two or three bone wheels, right? There we go. I mean, I do... I do think maybe with, with the skulls uh, it would be a little bit easier, but... Yeah. Hey, there we go, we got an alluring skull extra! Woohoo! GG, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> well, the human anus can fit two and a half raccoons without permanent damage. Right. So... Just to clarify, Killa, um, so the, the, the Hitler strat is basically um, killing the three skeleton lords and, and taking care of the little skeletons, um, you know, with the luring skulls and just poking at them. 
don't think I've seen you kill the skeleton lords, have I? I I'm not 100% sure. I pop into your streams, like, in between stuff and everything, so yeah. Like, can't always stay that long. Because it's always very late at night for me. You one-shot all three lords, then skull firebombs... Ah, firebombs, of course. Yeah, because you get them all night and cluster, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> it's called left very long in this game. Yeah, I've noticed. And the duration of the skull just is so fucking short because i tried using it like on, on certain running sections in the past and it just yeah it goes by so quickly kitty kitty soul skulls okay uh what's my arrow count looking like Um yeah okay we're fine. I mean the drain lake drain lake I think that's the trigger. I mean that's the trigger. Ah that's the trigger for her selling them, okay. The stand beginning with imp uh unlimited death drawing, yeah yeah yeah. By like twenty for the fight, yeah. I'm gonna have to try that on the next attempt. Though I think if, if we get to the next um, attempt without dying, I think we might just try the, the current tactic again. Because I don't think like changing much. Um, I don't want to change too much if we've got a good run going, you know. Alright, Snazzy, have a good night. Thank you very much for joining. Hope no you have a wonderful sleep. I need to talk to you more, I think, in order oh. to get you to move, right? Okay. And that was to pick up basically like Gavlin and the um the, the um uh, the tight night chunk. Is it worth running for that tight night chunk? I mean I know we can get a shitload of them later on. But yeah. I mean it's a Fast to get these.
not incoming or not. There it is. Average one death per hour. Uh, yeah. We're hoping to bring that back um, to one death every hour and a half on the next attempt. And, um, you know, go, go from there. Like one that every hour, I'm not even too concerned about. Could have been a lot worse. I mean, it is DS2 after all. Where the drop attack don't really hit anything. Rest here for a second while I go take a quick tea break. I shall be right back. be sub 10 dead for the whole run um yeah maybe <coughs> mm. like yeah for, for any percent I, i'm definitely looking at that but um keep in mind like i said like um you know we, we're gonna do um base game basically now do the any percent run and then we're gonna see um how far we can get with like old bosses in the same save file because i definitely need to practice all of those oh fuck me it is any percent but it was old bosses for some reason yeah no we're just doing any percent for now just kind of want to get that out of the way. You poison forlorn. That's a, that's a good question. Where to go, dude? You fucking suck. me or him <laughs> and I'm so glad it was him that was closer than I wanted that to be <laughs> yeah 
But you have to say GG for Forlorn is kind of insane. But I know Killa um, will, will agree that, that getting hit or dying to him is just... Um, it's painful. You don't want, it to have, want that to happen in challenge runs. Forlorn is a pain in the ass. Yeah. Like, you can't really plan for Forlorn. Because they can just appear anywhere, you know? Like, it's not like... Yeah, I mean... You can have that in, like, the first section of the game. You can have that halfway. You can have that about anywhere. Lauren is a fuck, fucking fuck if they can get fucked. Indeed they can. I think it just appears where people die a lot, right? I think so. But it's like that's in the last X amount of time. So, you know, you, you can have like a full... Like if the server you're playing on is empty, you're not going to get a forlorn. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's fucking insane thing like forlorn because even going offline doesn't stop it like for some reason forlorn can still come when when you're playing offline even though it's tied to an online um, mechanic Yeah, this is kind of weird, the whole Forlorn system. I'm so glad they only did it in, like, one game. To start thinking about buying life gems too. Because I'm down to Estus again. We do have. Okay. Not gonna waste an Elizabeth Mushroom on, on him. Cigarette in nearly three months now. Good, keep it up. You have a very iffy hitbox, you piece of shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't know why, but three months is always like the hardest period for me. Like if I ever, you know, the, the couple of times I tried to stop, um, like three months in is always like the point where I start smoking again. But yeah. And Omega Bread over on YouTube says, I hope this isn't offensive or nothing like that, but you look like a good sponsor for antidepressants. I'm not sure, like, I'm, I don't find it necessarily offensive, but I am finding having a hard time, Omega, to, to um, take that as a compliment. <laughs> um. <laughs> I 
And honestly, like, um, if, if any antidepressant um, manufacturers are, are watching this right now and they want to sponsor, um, feel free to get in touch. <laughs> Always looking for a good sponsor. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Promote that guy to Chief Roll. There's a uh, Glenn over on uh, Twitch. Yeah, Omega Brad. Honestly, like, yeah, that that's um, that's some that's some class eight trolling right there. I'm not even sure if it's trolling or not. Like, it, yeah. <laughs> honestly, I can see the point. <laughs> Also for anti the presence. Speak up if you I like that. No interest. Um do we do the lightning one or the regular one? We're mainly using the lightning one, so yeah. Uh, let's upgrade our bow as well a little bit. I still don't know what to make about that joke, like, I don't find it, it like, it's not offensive by any means, but it, it's also, like, very hard to take that as a compliment. <laughs> that reminds me, we gotta go get the drop-down ring thingy. sections we're i don't think so um we can get one more bright bug It's only because of my beard. People with big beard tend to get prescribed with meds and that sort of thing. I I'm. I, I I don't think that's necessarily true, Omega. Like I, I'm uh, part of the metal scene and of the um, of the biker scene. So I, I, I hang around with an MC, I, I um, do security work at metal festivals um, and, and most of the people in like my immediate surroundings have like big beards and I, I don't think any of them like take, uh, take antidepressants. read a study about it pretty sure it's like that i mean it might be in, in like some parts of the world or something like that but like where i'm from 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 belgium i'm, I'm pretty sure that that's um not necessarily true 
like I said, like I know a lot of people with, with beards and, and yeah, I haven't, like I don't think any of them use um, antidepressants. I mean, as far as I'm aware, like we do talk about a lot of things within our community, uh, mental health being one of them. Um, and yeah, I can't say that, that any of them have told me that, that they are uh, on antidepressants or anything. Yeah, this specify in the study that Belgians are in effect, it's <laughs> typically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Omega. Yeah, okay. I mean, they kind of done a study like that for like all over the world, right? Like, it has to be like a local study or something. And now Glenn in Twitch chat is saying that he's read the same study. Of course you did, Glenn. You didn't even know how to read. It was 50 people from each country all over the world except for Belgium. <laughs> oh god. I don't like even like if, if it was like a, a study done um, and then stuff like that like like I said like I know a lot of people with a beard that that don't have it and I'm pretty sure I know 50 people with a beard and I think it just kind of depends on on age group on on um, lot in life so to speak you know do you have a job do you have have a girlfriends you know all of that stuff I think those are more defining factors than, than do you have beards. I mean, I fucking open it. If a beard is a thing that makes a person depressed, why would, like, beard grow then be a natural thing in life? Wouldn't your body at some point be like, nope, we don't want a beard anymore because we're not manic depressed? At a certain point, it does make sense, of course, because you do start growing a beard when you hit puberty, and, and and we all know it. Like that's not the funnest time to be alive. I think Glenn read the audio version. <laughs> oh God. And Glenn is saying maybe he means that people with depression are less likely to shave and take care of themselves. Yeah, I could see that. Like, if they're... Uh, like, depressed people, I don't think that they take very uh, good care of themselves. Um, like, with hygiene and everything. Um, so I could see, like, they, they like stop shaving and everything. And then, you know, they grow a beard. And then, yeah, while they're on... Or... or Later in life, get get antidepressants and everything. I could see that.
your cousin was depressed and fed himself through an IV drop for three weeks just because he didn't want to get out of bed. Yeah, that's probably what the study was getting at. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry that happened to your cousin. Like, like he, here on the channel we, we joke around a lot. We make a lot of um, inappropriate jokes. Um, but like stuff like mental health has always been like a very important um, part of it. Like I, I always say, like, and I've never made a secret out of this. I myself have gone to like a psychiatrist and everything um, to, to to deal with some stuff going on in my life. I had people in my life uh, who committed suicide, um, you know, who were like depressed for a very long time. Um, so yeah, mental health is 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 no joke, and um, yeah, people who are experiencing problems or or stuff like that, um, like be sure to, to speak to someone, you know, don't don't, um, don't ball it up, don't, don't wait until it's too late, like. Go out there. There are people everywhere who want to help you. Who, uh, like, be it professional, be it people in your immediate surroundings. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Because I can pretty much guarantee you are not the only one who's feeling the way you are feeling. You knew I would be a good sponsor for antidepressants. I just did an amazing sales pitch. Thank you. <laughs> ah, but yeah. Oh, it is something that that is close to my heart. As I said, like that, I have had people who committed suicide. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and Glenn over on Twitch says, interesting you did not know that about the psychiatrist. Um, I, I think I mentioned it a couple of times in my streams. But, um, yeah. I guess, you know, my, my trips to the psychiatrist weren't that big of a deal, but... Um, I mean, not that big of a deal, I mean... Like when when the um, when my friend died, like it was two years ago now. Um, you know when he when he committed suicide, um, it was. You know it, it like he was a couple of years older than me, and and it kind of made me stop and think. And a lot of the the things we we saw like years ago he was going through that was going around in his head were some of the things that that I recognized with myself um, and and I, I made the decision of like going to um, like going to a psychiatrist just to stay ahead of stuff like that you know that I don't want to be like the next one in our friend circle who does something like that Because I, I I know from personal experience what what kind of an impact that has on people. And in the meantime, Radar, welcome in over on Twitch. Uh, you started a new playthrough of DS Remastered Day. And you were like, nah, fuck this game, and went back to Elden Ring. <laughs> Both games are, are, are a good thing. I enjoy both games. The thing about Elden Ring is that it's just... I'm playing it so much with, with the um, with the Elden Ring bingo, with... Um, you know, with some of the challenge runs I've been doing, uh, with some of the mods. 
Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of it at the moment. I'm sure you've seen a video on YouTube about how playing Souls games help one guy's depressing depression. Interesting video essay. Uh, yeah, I have seen that. And I, I can get where he's coming from, but... Oh, I think, like, for me, it's just video games in general that, that help me, um, you know, set my mind at ease, so to speak. I don't think it's necessarily the Souls games. I think that that's what a hobby basically should do. It should be something that you can escape into, whether it be, like, I don't know, working out, um playing video games, reading books, whatever you want. But it should be an escape and something you can do to, to, to relax you, to get rid of everything that, that's uh, going on in your head. Um, and... Glenn is asking Radar if he quit out of DS1 in Blight Town. Now you haven't even gotten to Taurus Demon. Okay. I always have to take a break at Blight Town. Yeah. Blight Town is horrible. <laughs> there, there's no other way to say it. Blight Town is fucking horrible. Why do you think depression is so much more prevalent in first world countries and today in general? I'm not sure that's necessarily true. Um, like I, I do think that that we just hear about it more. Like I'm pretty sure that in, in like the 1920s, when when um, you know we had the whole uh, crash of um, you know the stock exchange when when the Great Depression happened, uh, depression was much more prevalent than it is today. Um, but it was just seen different back in the day, and then. Like, the reason many people are depressed today is, in my opinion, social media. Um, well, and, and traditional media as well. Like, you, you can just open the paper, open any social media page, open any news site, and it's just all doom and gloom. Um, and, like, a lot of the doom and gloom is just pure fear mongering. So, so a as a European, um, the thing we mainly get is, you know, with the situation in Ukraine that is going on, that it's like, oh, um, you know, the missiles the uh, Russians have, you know, that they can hit Brussels, they can hit your town, uh, World War Three is coming next, um, it's going to happen in a couple of months. But they've been seeing that since the war there broke out in 2021. So, yeah. Like, it, it's... It, it is something to, to, to make you um, depressed enough. Like, being told every day that, that we are on the verge of a world war. Um, take again with that the fact that um, uh, that that as 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 men as providers, um, you know, the cost of living has gone up. 
uh, it's getting harder and harder to, to pay the bills, it's getting harder to, um, to provide for your family, to provide for your kids. Um, <clears throat> also, like, the moment you open up any social media site, you, you're being told that you're an evil person if you do this or that. Um, all, with all the, the woke and leftist stuff going on. Uh, and then if you don't join this thing, um, that means you are a racist. If you don't support these people, that means you're a homophobe. And I think a lot of those uh, things or or driving people closer and closer to, to something like a depression. Because people just don't know how to cope with all of that. And then I, I've said this a couple of streams ago. Um, that a lot of the stuff that we hear about. Like, you know, like like all the bigotry, all the racism, all, all the... Um, all of that stuff is is not something that keep that is in the mind of the average Joe. You know, the, the the average person is is just trying to make sure they survive from day to day, make sure their families survive from day to day. And that part is getting hard enough. Why should they feel the extra pressure of you have to care about these or these causes? Like, like, why, why sh should we care about that? Like, if, if, like, yeah, if, if, if there's racism going on, if there's bigotry going on, if there's, um, you know, oppression going on, yeah, they're, they're horrible things, absolutely. And, and if it's happening close to you, yeah, do something about it. Like, if, if I see um, someone out on the street, uh, be it, uh, let's say it, it's it's a black woman, and she's being harassed, uh, harassed for being either black, for being a woman, for being not native to Belgium, I'm going to step in and I'm going to do something about that. But there is absolutely nothing I can do about people in America that are oppressed. Like, I have no control over this. I, there is nothing I can do from here that is going to help those people in America who are oppressed. Um, but if, if you listen to some people, just because I'm not doing anything to help those people, that means I'm part of the problem, that, I'm, that means I'm, I'm oppressing them by not doing anything. And... All of those factors just contribute to the normal man in the street, the normal Joe, the normal working person, to, to get depressed. Because they, they feel like there's such a weight on their shoulder to, to change the world. And and I, I said this before, like 99% of us, the, the stuff that we do in our life, it's not going to change the world. We, we are not that special. We, we, it's not, like, we can change the world. Like, the things we do, the things we say, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter that much. What matters is the words you put in it yourself. And it can be just the word of, of you know, if, if you hear someone say that, that filthy N-word, just stepping in there and saying, um, hey, dude, that's not okay. That is words. Does it matter in the grand scheme of things? No. It matters to the person who is being called that word at that point. It matters to a person who is being oppressed at that point. It matters to someone who is being harassed. But it doesn't matter in the grand scheme. And then people... These days, social media um, is, is so full of people who are trying to change the world in their own special little ways which are usually just fucking idiotic. Um, and, you know, it, it's hard not to feel pressured into you need to care about this, you need to do something about this. It brings it to a lot of people a lot of weight. 
on their shoulders well they already have the weight of trying to provide for their families whether you're a man a, a woman uh doesn't matter we're all just trying to get through the day trying to survive the cost of living has have gone up immensely and to then just you know that that's hard enough and to then, then have the extra weight of everything fuck that no let people be it's in small acts of kindness that you change the world that you make a difference in another person's life in the grand scheme it doesn't matter it's those small things that that do and and uh as far as as um it's more prevalent in the first world countries i don't think it's more prevalent in the first world countries um it's just here it's more reported on depression here in in, in the western world is reported on more it's also a cultural thing you know like um in japan if you're depressed it's it's completely different how society handles that compared to what's being done uh here in europe or in uh, northern america um and i'm pretty sure like people for instance in the philippines in in the congo in in uh southern africa i think they there is a lot more depression there than we have here in the western world um but it's just you know it doesn't pay to get studies done there you know it doesn't matter that you get a study done in some remote village in the philippines or a remote village in in uh, nicaragua because nobody cares nobody cares about that You know, it, it's yeah, those people are, are fighting for their very existence, like even more so than than in the Western world. Like it's it's been hard there for years, or for decades, but it's just not being reported on anymore, because it is what it is. Is basically the, the the thing that a lot of people think about that. Um, so I don't think it's more prevalent in the Western world. put thank you omega um yeah radar you must have entered on a deep subject uh yeah we 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 have those moments here like it's not always a, a cesspit of um sexual innuendo and and um talking about favorite types of porn <laughs> we, we do have our our more um serious moments here too that's always the thing that i wanted to do with with these streams like to have a safe base where where there's respect for each other and for uh opinions um but we also are here for a laugh <clears throat> but yeah Anyway, um, this is basically my, my opinion about stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just easier these days to, to hear about depression. Also, again, with social media, because, you know... It, you, you can just open Facebook or or, um, or Twitter or whatever uh, is your media of choice and then you can read about like oh I, I, um, this person or that is, is is going on in the world or this is um, you know here's a study about um, the effect of depression and everything um, social media is is I mean I, I need it for doing this for doing my job here on Twitch and on YouTube, you know, it, it, it is social media, basically. But, uh, um, you know, I try to, like, not be on it as much as I possibly can. Like, for instance, I'm not even on Twitter. Like you, I mean, I am. I have an account on Twitter, but, like, the last uh, thing I, I did there what must have been, like, three or four years ago. 
Just because, I mean, Twitter is, is just a cesspool. Oh, I'm sorry, right, 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 not Twitter, X. Because, yeah, that, that's what they call these days, X. Uh, Radar, love you, but <laughs> it's nice you're a good take on the world. Thank you, Radar, thank you. Love you too, man. We've just uploaded like a couple of clips to our um, YouTube, I uh, know to our Twi uh, uh, our TikTok um, about like some stuff that we discussed in the previous stream about um, all of this. Um, yeah, if you're so inclined, feel free to take a look there as well. Like I think there there's there's definitely a link on on the Twitch page. I'm not sure if there's a link in in the YouTube thing. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the last conversation we had about this, like, it started about... Um... About Beyonce's... Um... Beyonce's little album... Uh, or little country album. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell, that, that was a discussion. About cultural appropriation, if it went then, but, yeah. But yeah, anyway, though, like, I, I am someone who has very strong views and opinions. I am, I have to say this out front, like, um, just so there's no confusion, like, my, my viewpoints are more right-wing. Um, but it, it's, like, the thing that people really think about the right wing is... Oh, they're racist, oh, they're bigoted, oh, they, they hate everything that is not, like, traditional stuff. And that's just not true. Um, like, like, I, I don't have a problem with, with people of different uh, color, of, of different um, uh, um, faiths, of different um, sexual orientation, far from it. I, I'm just the type of person who's like, okay... Um, it, it's fine that you're like that. It's fine, like you want to live your life with with uh, in this way. But I don't think it's right for you to push those values on me. No, that that's the main thing. Like I don't want to be called a bigot or a racist just because I don't agree with you. You know, that, that, that's... yeah. And apparently that makes me right-wing. <laughs> Angel Justice, welcome in. And I did see that message. You a ginger. <laughs> welcome in. How are you? Uh, and Radar, oh, the gutter. How I hate you so... Yeah, the gutter can, can go suck a dick. <laughs> I mean, we can get past this quite quickly. We can really run in here. Uh, the next section that I hate more, like with with all the spitting um, thingies, and then, ooh, do I have fire arrows on me? I, I think I do, but I'm not sure how many. Nine. That's enough, I think. Uh, we also need... A torch. Okay. wonder how many people I've lost now that I said that I'm right-wing. 
Usually it's enough to lose a few viewers. <laughs> Mainly because of the reasons I just said that people, the moment you say right wing, think of racism, bigotry, and everything like that. You can actually went up here. Not sure that's true for YouTube though. <laughs> I hadn't even like I wasn't even paying much attention to do what the view count on YouTube was though. So yeah. No, 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 that, that's, that is bad. Damn. We do more than just, more, just chatting streams about mental health. Yeah, I should just do more chatting streams in general, honestly. Because I do feel that, that a lot of people respond to it quite well. How many times I've played this game? I have never noticed this butterfly. Or or this, this moth or whatever it's supposed to be. Then again I normally don't come to this section. And Akiot says the stream can only end well. Um, I, I wouldn't be so sure about that. to deliver the baseless confidence sure it is your job awesome always welcome for stuff like that uh, cross streaming to youtube always boosts the engagement too uh yeah it does it certainly does Uh, yeah, Nico, only uh, four deaths so far. I've been stowing by over there all night. Yeah, they, they sure have. Quite surprised by this, actually. Like, our YouTube is doing pretty well for the stream today. Um. Hmm. I just need to... Normally stream to other platforms. Um, I'm cross-streaming right now. Well, I'm multi-streaming, uh, Akiot. And I, am I saying that correctly, Akiot? Um, so I normally stream mostly on, um, on Twitch, which I'm also streaming to right now. But um, I'm cross-streaming now to YouTube as well. or AK. Okay. Awesome. I go drop a follow there too. Oh, thank you very much, uh, AK. I'm gonna say AK. <laughs> it's easy to remember. And QK, 
now you're over here it's right hey welcome radar awesome Yeah, everyone on, on YouTube, on Twitch, um, <laughs> AK, wow, now you're over here, awesome. <laughs> yeah, everyone, like, feel free, like, um, Whee! drop a follow, drop a like, drop, drop, you know, share your channel with your friends if, if you enjoy all of this. Um, you know, um, I, I am trying to make this, like, my, my main profession, basically. So uh, any support of, of any one of you is it's really welcome. I really appreciate all of it. Thank you so much for the new followers, for, for the new uh, subscribers over on YouTube and stuff like that. Like, thank you so, so much, everyone. This couldn't be possible without such a great community. Also, Nico, now that you are here, um, can you do the Discord in in um, in both um, in both channels? So on the YouTube as well as on, um, on on Twitch, please. Who is Mel? That's that or the coolest? <laughs> We are, we are. There we go, we got the Discord over on the Twitch already. Oh fuck, I thought that yield poison as well. Oh fuck. Damn it. It's port command not work. Did it port command should work? Yeah, there we are. <laughs> yeah, so anyone who's following who's subscribed and everything, feel free to do uh join our Discord too. Uh, you can stay up to date with all the new stuff we do, uh, with all the new videos coming out uh, over on our YouTube, on our Twitch, and on um, TikTok. Because we're on TikTok too. And we get up to some very weird stuff in, in the Discords. Some very weird but fun stuff. It's also vitally important to engage with the count channel on this card. Yes, absolutely. Everyone's favorite channel. There's were a lot of enemies from somewhere, and I don't know from where. That bugs me. Oh. No, I wanted to pick up the items, you prick. Is off. You can't wrong encounter as belongs to me. Yeah, and, and careful because Nico is, is a dangerous lady. If 
Wow, that didn't kill. Channel like that in Scrim's Court. We'll get past 500 for over 4 years. One person. Uh, Grant, you were that person at one point with the over that feet. <laughs> I'm not even sure how far our account is up to right now. I accidentally reminded the stream perks of YouTube, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a perk of YouTube there. Like rewinding stream and everything. That, that's, uh, yeah. Is testament to the beautiful cooperation in this degenerate cesspit of a community. Wow. <laughs> Unless your name is Nukes. <laughs> now, our Discord is this. Like, we have certain channels in our Discord which um, Nico can grant access to if, if you're 18 plus. Because some of the things that, like, we. we or a non-politically correct um, anti-woke kind of thing so yeah again i mean like anti-woke in the meaning that that woke is today like, I don't have a problem with equality, I don't have a problem with, with inclusivity, I have a problem with, um, you know, what, what woke is these days, that if you don't agree with, with whatever is being said at that moment, that you are a fascist, a bigot, stuff like that. So a rogue chicken walking around, ignore him. Yeah, ignore those rope chicken. You like spiders? There's a new horror movie out called Sting. I don't know Sting. Right, guys, um, I'm gonna have to take a break. Um, I have to take a, um, a bit of a longer um, toilet break. Uh, I shall be back in, in a couple of minutes and we will continue on with this. Um, so until that time, enjoy some of Nico's escapades. Because Nico used to stream here too. So yeah, enjoy her shit. You may chop me to pieces like paper through scissors, but I will not give in. I don't want to die again. <laughs> I know I need to get to that fog wall bit, so we'll go this way. And the ladder. I'm not sure which I should go for first, to be honest. Well, I actually need the ladder to get to the fog wall, it seems. So there's my answer. Okay, well that happened. Oh, it looks like we're in a church. A church dedicated to someone with really big knockers. H how does one get down there? Is there no ladder? Because I dropped a shiny thing down there, and I want that shiny thing because I had to die for it to, you know, do stuff. Oh, perhaps it's the other way. Yeah, I could do it this way. Oh, hell, that was close. Oh no, this just goes up. 
I need to go down. Oh, fuck. Christ. Divine blessing. But how do I get down there? There's a door. Ah, oh, fudge nuggets. I actually have to go over there. Now, how am I going to get there? <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. That's just the way I went. Hold on. Oh! Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! And to get my souls. Fuck! Get souls, I would bone, and we're doing this again. I could have just gone straight. But Nico is special. Nico does things in her special little Nico way. <coughs> I see you have seen me. I see you are now being a cock. Right, how did we get to the souls? Down to that level, down there, get souls, homeward bone. Good lord, this is a lot of homeward boning! I don't want to use all my homeward bones, I was going to save them. <gasps> oh god, for the hard bits of the game. Big booba. And big lady, she seems quite tall. I wonder who she is. She's not Gwyn, is she? I thought Gwyn was a he. <laughs> Try death. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna die, sheep. Why would I die? I'll just give you more happiness and pleasure. We well, wouldn't want to spoil your appetite. Oh, fuck. That was close. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think we can buy the Homeward Bones too, though, so it shouldn't matter too much. I just don't really know from where. Imagine getting blood loss frog <laughs> balancing on these beams. That would be annoying, wouldn't it? And imagine if there was an animation to go along with it, and it just fell off. That'd be even worse. You said bonfires are your friends, not food, but you also called bonfires bitch. Yeah, but that was a mistake. <laughs> Blight Town, the happiest place on earth. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hear no one likes it, so I, I feel slightly less bad about that, but still. Uh, I'm not sure how many hours I spent at the very beginning and in Blight Town, but it was far too many. I was just struggling to find my way around, honestly. Oh, fuck you! Sorry about my language. You were kind of overrated for it. Like, overleveled? So it wasn't as bad for you. You were two shotting the weird monsters in it. I can't remember how many hits that I took to kill them. But don't you have to go to Blight Town at the beginning? Or or did you do it backwards like uh, Ginge does it? Because I know there is a way that you can do it backwards. Okay, get off my screen, thank you. 
Oh, f <laughs> oh God. I'm just mind blown right now, sheep. By your uh, big brain. You're definitely not smooth brain. 100% not smooth brain. Ha! Bitch. You got what you deserved. What's this? Okay, I did a thing. Probably one of you on every level, isn't there? Oh, yeah, okay. Ah. Thank goodness for iframes and shit. Oh, I thought he was dead. That was close. Oh, nice. We have a halberd and a shield. Happy days. There we go. That was some um, of Nico's weird and wonderful stuff. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed that. Um, be sure to check out the um, the Homo Nubus playlists over on um, YouTube. If you want to see more of that shit. She's done Elden Ring. She's done DS1. She's done uh, DS2. And we hope that one day she will finish off with um, DS3 as well. You know, one day. Right, Nico? She actually can't jump scare to you? I'm good at that. And uh, Radar and AK, yes, I, I did do that. I did put up the um, the stuff, uh, the, the little video of Nico, because I didn't want you guys hearing me for. That, that's the main reason. Uh, AK says, I don't take issue with individual ideology, you take issue with corporations pretending to ascribe to any of them. Yes. Absolutely. Like the fact that, that um, you know, things like Black History Month or Pride Month and everything are, are so, like, celebrated by all the corporations is just insane. Like, they don't care for the rest of the year, don't pretend to care. On, on those few months of the year, either. But, yeah. That here you can go through to touch every statue? Really? It's not so much the statues I'm I'm really worried about. It, it's the grabby things from from the, the Thor pit thingies. Yeah, I just shoot them, and it's all okay.
this one. Of this one. Wrong rape here, but that was dumb. This rape here worked a lot better. Uh, I saw that coming. The third great soul? Yeah. We only have um, Iron Keep to do. And thank you for the GG's. We know we will proceed. Just bear with us here, will you? I should have come back and grab. Uh, should have I? Uh, uh, Thinking about grabbing the um, bonfire near Rotten. Maybe to make things easier in case you do want to farm him. But I mean, it's really worth it. I don't think so, really. Well, the worst area of the game. And yes, I'm ranking Iron Keep as as worst area above um, above Bridget Outskirts. Hey, Cliff, welcome back. How are we doing? Um, well, we we are doing like we're doing good. We, we're in the last, we need to get the last uh, soul, and then we are good to go. This is crack. Rock cocaine. Second worst Sorry, area the versus the mana. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> when I put a mana, I don't know. I think Iron Keep is worse than a mana, because a mana you can kind of get through.
if you're like careful enough. With a bow, a mana is doable. There we go. Pretty quick. Pretty loud for the worst by a mile. Can DLC. I yeah, I mean a mana like Fridge Dowskers is is um is bad. Fridge Outskirts is it's really bad. I don't I, I've always found Iron Keep worse mainly because of uh, Smelter Demon. I just to run up to Smelter Demon is is so fucking bad. Oh yeah yeah if you do Ugh. If you do bolus um, in in a mana, that that's rough. Melee only a mana is is worse than than um, iron keep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Ah, oh, I feel another sneeze coming. I do. I do. I still do. I still do feel the sneeze. It's slowly going away. I think this needs to go. Okay. Right. Um, that's why. Uh, that's your perspective because you don't know what a bow is apparently. Uh, yeah, like a bow with the duties runs is just really, really necessary. Like you need a bow for this. Where you're doing deathless or or hitless or or whatever, you you, you need a bow. I would say bless you, but then your very existence would cease. Y yeah, yeah. Me and the guy who does the blessing are not really on speaking terms. Mainly because he's not even real. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Up in the S2 smack talk and didn't say hi back. Got to respect the dude text rapier build. I mean, it's working for me, honestly. It's really working. Like, the deaths we had were just pure stupidity, honestly. Your fume knight giga swords? Oh, dual wheel great swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's a pretty good way to do that. Is real take that back? Gun? Never. This game where poke is OP. Absolutely. Because if you don't poke, you you, um, you miss half your shots with, with like. Um, the great swords. That's what I've noticed. And I bloody well hate that. Why the hell did we miss that one shot? Dude, your great swords miss half the time. It's wild, but when it connects, it's a delete button. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It certainly is, but yeah. I like just the fact that they, they tend to miss so much. Like even the rapier is, is not hitting a hundred percent. I bloody well hate that. For a second time tonight, Jinx, you're reporting me to Jesus. I don't like having to do that, but you force but I force you yet again. Do it. Report me to him. Let's see what he has to say. Like if you actually get a reply, Glenn, that will be the first in 2,000 years. Allegedly.
haven't automated that shit long ago. <laughs> Says we're in breach of DOS. I'm always in breach of DOS. That's nothing new. Uh, and Cliff is back to lurking. All right, Cliff, enjoy work. Have a good lurk, man. Thank you very much for lurking. I think they have time to listen to eight billion people. But that there's all kinds of different gods, AK. Obviously, I mean, yeah. I have hours of lessons left, then you go home. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not so long left. I think this is safe. I was pretty chill with it in the beginning. Like, sure, I'll sell your butt dispute. At least I only have a couple dozen followers to worry about. By the 2020. <laughs> What's your god that gives a fuck? Yeah, also, um, in case people didn't know yet, I'm an atheist, so. The whole god thing. Yeah. Michael Burke Parkinson in his prime, or maybe a young Terry Wogan. Imagine Yoko Ono will have first seen his eternal choir. God, I hope not. More of a reason to not like God if, he, if he's a fan of Yoko Ono. <laughs> Um, is going for Smolder Demon a good plan, yes or no? Um, I don't think it is. I think we're gonna skip him. You win. We're doing any percent, we're not doing all bosses, Nico. And even on all bosses, I doubt I would do him at this point. Very surprised that you survived the boss here. I'm not gonna fall in the fucking hole again. You always you always think that that I'm gonna fall in the fucking hole in the arena, but I'm not gonna do that. I refuse. Hole will prevail, pull in the hole, it's calling, our point still stands. <sighs> you know, just for that, I think I'm gonna end stream and then whether or not I fall into the hole will be something we'll just have to come back for to see.
Nothing's for the community we are. Good job, everyone. Same time tomorrow. I am gonna... Uh, terrified of the hole? I'm not terrified of any hole. I think we're gonna... Uh, yeah, what, what time is it by now? They will hold fear with a whole fear of holes would see. <laughs> yeah, we still have time, right? We can continue on a bit more. Although it currently is 2.30 a.m. for me, but we can do a bit longer. Why the hell not? Well, that's the first time he actually peacefully stepped into the fire. Great. We'll stand here. Might be time for teasing. Wait, 10 in the morning or 10 in the evening? Morning. Wow. Wait, where are you from, AK? South Korea. Oh, interesting. 1.35 a.m. for you. You will be combing your hair and drinking your milk soon. <laughs> Which still sucks, sorry to report. Yeah, I, I didn't really expect it to be anything different. Like, if all of a sudden the future looked bright, that, that would just not feel right. Look, I'm popular with Asian people now. Our girls fine when shaving their ass hair, but guys get friction burn. What? Differences we need to fix. Um, I mean, I, 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 okay, this is troubles troubling for me to be fair because I think we just found the one um, subject where I do not have any smart remarks ready to go. And this bothers me now. Never admit defeat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, what the hell do I say to something like that? Shave around your starfish and between your cheeks report was every day for a week or so about how it feels. Yeah, that, that's not happening anytime soon, Nico. He's pretending not to have friction burns. <laughs> Got a Google Doc going for the server. Why do I drag all these weird people to my streams? Just 
unexplored jungle for we know maybe this is where the lack of reliable reliability stems from reliable Yeah, I've said this before and I stand by it, that the ultimate thing is to have my hair basically braided in with my ass hair, um, so that I can save a ton on toilet paper. So it's, it's pretty much jungle, yeah. So yeah, like, I mean, and we're halfway there because as long as my, um, as long as this hair is, um, yeah, the butt hair is just as long. You'll be able to comment about friction on the anus. That would be a pure innocent ginger like me, no one. See, that we know about uh, puppies and dogs. The human carrying strap, too. <laughs> Sleep you over my small brain carrying you while I'll have their ass hair carrier. That's, that's not, I, I thought it more of something to do, um, you know, save on toilet paper, but. Okay. I mean, I guess that works too. Although, I've never met someone who wants to lift me up by my ass hair. That's the first. It's always the first one, else can I say, yeah. That's fair, I think. Alright, so we're gonna kill this boss, and I think after that we're gonna call it. Okay, I know this is a really bad idea, but I'm already here, so... Here we fucking go. Rawr! Extra noses pounces on you, ooh, ooh you're so warm. Ooh. Couldn't help but notice your bolts from across the floor. Noses your Nikki like you told them or till day hee hee Unzips your baggiest pants oh baby you so musky Take me home, pet me and make me yours and don't forget to stuff me See me like my little baby tail for your bulgy bulgy Kisses and lickies your neck I hope daddy likey Sazzles and wazzles your chest I be getting thirsty Hey I got a little itch, you think you can help me? Only 7 inches long, ooh ooh Please adopt me! Pause on your butt as I lick my lips Gotta hit him with this furry shit, he don't see it coming. Yeah, the Uwu song. I'm sure we all missed it. Apparently nobody else redeems Uwu. I'm very glad about that. Alright, here we fucking go. Oh, 
all times. I'm not gonna fall in the bloody hole. Stop doing that! That glorious fucking hole, believe it. <laughs> no! Where the hell? Motherfucker, doing the thing that I can actually punish, you prick! Yeah, exactly like that. Well, man on throw air fell in again. See, no hole. of times that that man under O'Hare actually fell in, but we didn't. No more wet holes for change. Story of my life, Nico. Sort of amount of falling into the hole. We did one, uh, one for that last time. And everybody bet that I would fall into the hole. So everybody lost points. <laughs> because nobody bet against me falling into the hole. everything. Why not? Oh. Eh, no. What the fuck? An opportunity to make thousands of coins and people just void it for hold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You people all suck. Another save bet would be everyone falling into your mom's hole. I didn't even know Killa was still here, but holy fucking hell. Isn't the match going on? Isn't there a bingo match tonight? Bearer of the curse. You're back. Welcome back, you last. Good no, but smaller than it was. We'll keep whittling away at that no. Eventually, it'll be a nah. And then Nah sounds like Yah. And then Yah's Queen. I'm pretty sure there's a bingo match, right? Aren't you commentating, Killer? Soon you were gonna scream in the rain. Look at the top there. Okay. 
Um, it's uh, it's Nick joining you. Cause I know like he's been um, he's been go he's gone back to work as well. Yeah. Beard is more, more impressive than Guinevere's too. There's good training way the beard takes long. Okay. He'll be casting the match. Ah, okay, okay. So, um, yeah, Nyx will be streaming it. Okay. Wait, is he online yet? Because then we're gonna raid into him. Because now that we got the four Lord Souls, we, we got um, only four deaths so far. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And I, and I feel that that's a good point to um, call it for today. So, um, for starters, for our uh, viewers over on YouTube, thank you all very much for joining in. Thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the people in, in uh, Twitch stick around, we're going to raid out. Uh, but for the YouTube folks, this is going to be the end for this stream. And we will be back tomorrow. Um, probably continuing on with this run. Well, we will be continuing on with this run. So, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for joining over on um, YouTube. See you all tomorrow over there.